everybody, hey, uh, welcome to Thursday, my Reading Smoke channel here on YouTube. Appreciate everybody being here, appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, some great news, went over a thousand subscribers this last week, and so thanks to everyone out there. Uh, I mean, it's really humbling that so many people are, are subscribing to the channel and watching it. I mean, I really like doing the videos, so thank you very much. Uh, new subscribers this week, Fuke Nagasaki. Thank you, Brody Berg and Kyle Seymour. And I know I'm missing some subscribers when I'm saying thank you. Uh, for some reason, I don't I don't get a notification for every subscriber, but the ones I do, I uh, try to recognize here and appreciate everybody being here. So, Oakland Fire Department and uh, Dave Statter's website, if you haven't been there, and the link is in the show notes here, so take a look. Um, it's not a super long video. It's actually get rid of the audio just so I don't have to talk over it. Okay, we talked we talked on SBSK. If you haven't been there, um, we always I always cover the same video twice. Uh, this one's usually more in depth. And so but this is, you know, we're talking about a less than a minute of video, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of new stuff. <coughs> but just a few things. So one of the things we're looking at here, right, is uh, we're talking about the neutral plane. And the fact that this fire has, um, there's, it's just all fire at the door. And so there's actually not that much smoke right here because remember smoke is fuel. As that fuel is consumed, uh, the, the remainder is uh, not very much, not a very high, you really uh, chews up the volume, right? But a lot of volume from this window here. So what we know is the, this is either the same space or, you know, it's a pretty small apartment. So this could be a, a bedroom. And if so, the bedroom, if this is a separate room of any kind, right, we know from this uh, exhaust, we know that this, the door to this room is open. No doubt about it. Um, we've got 100% exhaust here. This is above the neutral plane, which is right in this zone, this two to three foot zone. And we can't really see how much air is tracking in at the bottom. Uh, and this is high volume, turbulent, thick, and this is in the grayscale in the middle, probably a little bit of uh, brown in there, the sunshine in there hard, uh, but some black for sure, and a little bit of white as well. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so um, then down here, it's, it's starting to push up into the other sections coming through up over the top and through the attic. There's probably not, I haven't seen the roof, but it looks to me like it's gonna be a flat roof. Um, which means there's probably not very much space and uh, in this area in California it's probably a flat roof with just the uh, roof joist and the ceiling joist as the same joist maybe an 8 by uh, a 2 by 8 or 2 by 10 with insulation in there and then a roof deck right so not a lot of uh, fire potential in there but it can spread that way typically in this type of construction the rafters run um, from front to back because it's the shortest route. Occasionally they'll run the other way. Uh, I've got, uh, from way back in the day, I've got a, a pretty good uh, picture that was in the paper of a pretty good fire in an apartment almost exactly like this in Seattle. Uh, I think it was 29th place south. Anyway, so turbulent thick black are in the grayscale smoke, right? But turbulent and thick, right? Remember velocity and density are the kings of reading smoke. Uh, color and volume are um, the add-ons, right? But lots of velocity and um, really turbulent and thick, okay? And neutral plane here. And then 100% um, exhaust, so we know the door is open. We're not seeing anything on this side, really. I mean, there's smoke blowing down here, but nothing, and this is obviously, I think this is a separate unit, right? And so a pretty good, uh, we're stopping the fire spread this way and pretty good access all that kind of stuff They're gonna stretch up. There's a few little cuts in the video. Don't know, you know, probably just seconds They took out to keep us action-oriented uh, They're gonna get this line flaked out get a charge mask up and they're ready to go at the door You know, we can see right here the nozzles already open and already having a pretty big impact on uh, the total volume of fire here and notice that uh, really it's lifted really pretty high already, uh, even with, with or not even with, because of the water going in there, right, they're gonna get a lot of gas cooling and they're gonna put out all this fire in the front room. Okay, so uh, this, it, 
you know, they, uh, Oakland's a pretty good sized city, right? They have four person staffing and a lot of folks coming on this alarm. But if you had um, limited staffing or somebody who's delayed or something like this, you could make the same fire attack and, and hit the same front room uh, in some sort of a, a transitional from down here. Um, then reposition line and come up, right? They, they were able to position line up here, uh, well-staffed, well-trained, well-led department, right? So um, they're hitting it right from the front and just, he's just really, you can see uh, that he's gonna have a devastating impact on this, but what we're gonna see right away, right? We talked about this a couple weeks ago with a transitional strategy, transitional attacks or direct attacks like this. Well, if, we're, if we get all of the body of fire, you know, obviously we're gonna get a big body of fire here, but uh, if the velocity, if the turbulence and the density stay super high, even with a color change, that's predicting for you that there's more fire further into the structure. Now they're able to advance in this case, um, but we're going to see right in here, I'm going to stop it, right? Still a ton of turbulence and density um, out of this window over here. And even coming out over their head, it's still pretty significant. I mean, I just noticed that that last, we stopped that last one, there was actually a, a piece of, a piece of like a flaked off drywall or something in the, in the screen but they're gonna make it inside and we got a little bit choppy here. So I'm gonna stop it and roll it back, uh, see if we can't get smooth video as they make their transition from their exterior attack at the front. Nope, still choppy, I'm gonna go back one more time. Sometimes when I, I move the video around, it starts getting choppy, don't know why that is, but uh, if we get it smooth here, we'll just let it run through their fire attack. Okay, so that neutral plane is down super low here. Uh, and then we get this fire attack underway, but the velocity and the density stays high, right? And the air track at the bottom below that, uh, right down here, man, it is going in quick, right? It's, there's a lot of air going in there that tells you there's a fire still working inside. So the velocity and density out high, quickly reestablished air track uh, going in. And in fact, they have another room or two rooms of fire here in the back of this unit we'll go back and just get a look at when that's uh right in here right i mean a lot of fire back in here and if there's windows on this side of the building um you would have been able to see a big column of smoke coming up from the charlie side right and that would have told you hey this thing has got control from front to back uh, they really knock it out here and they quickly move from extinguishment here like really knock that heck out of it with that uh, smooth bore flow a lot of water, water, water and cover the um, cover the stuff right <laughs> cover the stuff that's off gassing get its temperature down below where it's going to off gas the you shut off that off gas and the fuel goes like that and your problem goes away and the smoke goes away too a lot of cooling and then move quickly to the window and begin hydraulic ventilation <coughs> excuse me again, and uh, get those searches done, right? And so really quick fire attack, some good things we can see up front, some ways that we could project what would happen if you were in a situation where a, um, a transitional attack was the right move. Uh, and uh, for this fire department on this date, they went straight up the stairs and, and hit it hard right from the um, access point, which is great. Um, but uh, we want to we want to use all these opportunities to sort of think about okay if I was doing it this way what would I expect to see and watching for that velocity and density and a quick reestablishment of your neutral plane with an air track where you can see it going in you know there's more fire further in there right and so th this crew here got in there I love this video if you go to the links and watch it it's it's just great to listen to them. And I really enjoyed uh, it. I'm, I'm super happy for Oakland. It's a great fire attack. It's down there about a month ago doing a reading smoke program. I was in the Bay Area, but I taught one, one day in Oakland and some great students down there. So shout out uh, to them and their city for a great job here. And shout out to the Reading Smoke Nation for uh, another great week and another Thursday with a video where we work together to learn how to read smoke better 
on the fire ground, right? Read the smoke, read the building, figure out what you're going to do. And with that, uh, this is uh, for Reading Smoke with Phil Jose. I'm Phil Jose, and uh, I'm out. Bye.